November 7, 2015. He competed at the USAPL Raw Collegiate Cup representing the University of Houston. The first competition is typically the one where a competitor gets their feet wet. Russ, however, jumped right into the water, going 9 for 9 on all of his lifts and totaling 1,510 pounds, 540.1 pound squat, 363.7 pound bench, and a 606.2 pound deadlift to end his first meet and dominate the junior division at just 20 years old. He won best overall male lifter and got in the books with a dot score of 466.27. Now, for those who don't know what a dot score is, it's a mathematical calculation which takes into account an athlete's body weight relative to their total weight lifted. Russ's 466.27 dot score was the highest of the entire meet. This performance would be the foundation for the rise of Russ Swole, as every competitor, judge, and spectator would clearly see the potential. To total over 1,500 pounds at a first powerlifting meet is an exceptionally impressive task, especially as an 83 kilogram lifter. In February of 2016, he competed at his second meet at the Aggie Showdown. He put up a 562.1 pound squat, a 369.2 pound bench, and a 639.3 pound deadlift, all significant improvements from his first meet. While his bench had only increased by 6 pounds, his squat and deadlift both saw increases of over 20 pounds on each lift, which for a 3 month gap is highly impressive. Four months later, he competed at his third meet at the absolutely stacked 2016 Southern Regional Championships, this time in the 93kg or 205 pound class. Now, he did come in 14 pounds underweight, but that didn't stop him from once again dominating the competition. Russ once again went 9 for 9, putting up a 633.8 pound squat, a 385.8 pound bench, and a 666.9 pound deadlift. Moving up a weight class for this meet did not affect his overall strength progression as he hit a dot score of 503.98, which represented an increase of 21.34 points from his previous dot score. Now, this wasn't the best of the meet. In fact, it ranked 8th overall and 3rd in the open class. He did only compete in juniors and dominated taking the first place medal. But given his impending move to exclusively compete in the open, this wasn't satisfactory. He needed to be able to hang with the big boys. He'd hit the platform once again in February of 2017, returning to the Aggie Showdown where he put up dramatically improved numbers from his last 83kg showing. He finished with a 617.3 pound squat, a 391.3 pound bench, and a 677.9 pound deadlift, totaling 1686.5 pounds. This matched the total from his previous meet at 93kg, but this time giving him a 517.50 dot score, a 7.2% increase from his last 83kg performance. He not only dominated the junior division once again, but also dominated the open in another very stacked meet. He finished with the highest raw dot score and once again turned some heads. Despite the impressive performance, this was the meet where Russ was met with his first humbling moments. He failed his final squat attempt as well as his final deadlift, something which he surely stood on after the meet. But his first victory in the open class solidified to Russ that 83kg was where he needed to be, so he continued to focus on dominating that division. That dominance continued in August of 2017 at the USAPL Texas Raw Championships where Russ truly showed out. Aside from hitting new personal bests in all three movements, Russ added 60 pounds to his total in a span of 6 months and had the biggest deadlift in the entire meet at 688.9 pounds. He not only dominated the junior division and open class once again, but he lifted almost 300 pounds more than the runner-up at this meet. This level of dominance combined with the level of enthusiasm Russ was bringing to the platform set the stage for a highly anticipated Nationals debut, as those who had been following his journey couldn't wait to see how he stacked up with the best in the nation. Russ entered his first national meet in Florida at the USAPL Raw Nationals on October 10, 2017 at just 22 years old. Given the short time frame from his last meet, his goal was to not only get his toes wet at nationals, but to truly test whether he was on his way to being one of the best powerlifters in his class. Russ came out of the gates hard, finishing with a 662.5 squat, breaking John Hack's national record by 1.1 pounds. Russ didn't come close to John's bench with a best of 396.8, 33 pounds short of John's 429.9. I have an obligation to my sport, mm -hmm. so when I'm inside the gym, I don't play any games. Really just, I'm so laser focused, the only thing I care about is making sure that I'm in a mental mind state that allows me to lift the most way I can possibly do. Deadlift was pretty close as Russ finished with a 688.9, 5.5 pounds short of John's best.
At the end of the day, Rush finished with a total of 1,748.2 pounds and a dot score of 538.77, a slight increase from his last meet. Improving on his squat while breaking the national record was a massive feat in that time frame. He saw a slight reduction on his bench from the previous meet but was able to match his deadlift. In March of 2018, he competed at the Arnold SBD Pro American where he saw his worst performance in his last three meets. Russ was only able to hit a 633.8 pound squat as he missed his next two attempts at 661.4 pounds each. He fared better in the bench, matching his all-time PR at 402.3. His deadlift saw a minor reduction as he hit 683.4, which while not his worst deadlift at comp, it was a few pounds off from his best. Russ faltering in his second and third squat attempts was really what hurt his overall performance. If he makes the second or third attempt at 661, he'd end up with a dot score one point off from what he had at nationals. Instead, he'd finish with a 528.48, which was 10 points lower. So while on paper his performance seemed like a relatively big setback, it was really one movement that made the difference. Now, with the IPF World Championships just three months away, Russ was deep in prep for his biggest and most career-defining meet. Worlds would be absolutely pivotal, as he would attempt to stake his claim as not just the king of the 83kg, but one of the best powerlifters on the planet. With the meet underway, Russ came out with a very strong start on squats, nailing his first two attempts with ease and finishing with a squat of 658 pounds, which was his second best all time. <laughs> From a smile to all business, <laughs> he's calm, he is almost a little too calm. Now, when it was time to bench, he put on his best all-time performance and really came to play. He opened up with his heaviest bench opener ever at 391.3, a number which just at his last meet was his second attempt. He would hit a 418.8 pound bench on his final attempt, which was a 16 and a half pound increase from his all-time bench PR. Russell's been really working on his bench press. Yeah. Um, he knows that was his weakness coming into this, and he's working really hard to improve on it. And it looks like he has based off of that. Second attempt here. Yeah. 185 is pretty good. Now, going all out on bench may have fatigued Russ a little more than he anticipated, because he started off deadlifts a lot more conservatively than he had in the last few meets. His opening attempt was 628.3, and he followed that up with a 650.3 deadlift, his lowest second attempt since 2016. To further emphasize Russ's underwhelming deadlift performance, his final attempt at 661.4 was actually 1.1 pounds lighter than his best squat all time, and he couldn't get it up. This is something that he has hit many times in training. And he's pulling, it's a fight at the knees. Just a little heavy. For 75% of this meet, I was sure that I was gonna lose, but what I wanna kinda like make that as a message is that like, look man, even if things look kinda bleak, you wanna follow through, you wanna keep doing what you gotta do in order to push through because you never know what could happen in the end. Four months after 2018 Worlds, Russ went back to the USAPL Nationals to defend his crown, this time with a vengeance. In the squat, he matched his best opener at 633.8 and made a huge jump to 663.6 .6 and hitting it. This not only nabbed him a new PR, but broke his national squat record from the year before. So you can't just tie and win on body weight. You gotta, you gotta actually exceed it by two and a half kilos. It right. can, really, can really mess with you a lot. This is his second attempt, remember. He's got so much room on a third if he makes this. I don't know, that was that was quick, but we gotta see how it looks. He tried to PR again on his last attempt at 679, but it did not go. Despite that, Russ was already off to a very strong start. And that could cause a seismic shift right there. It could. Between the two of them. And like, I buried it, I came out, and I was like, damn, like, it's not, it's not moving. And then, you know, obviously you guys saw, I failed the rep. So from that point on, I had put it inside of my head that, look, I think I just lost. I think I just got second place. So
on the bench platform, he once again opened up at his heaviest bench opener yet at 402.3, a number which was his all-time PR just 7 months prior. He missed his second attempt at 413.3 but matched his 418.8 PR on his final attempt, enough to improve on his last meet and still give him juice to max out deadlifts, a movement he should always dominate. 5 missed attempts over 7 competitions. Now, walks away with the W. He opened up fairly conservatively because he was planning on making a big jump. He went from a 633.8 opener to 661.4 for his second attempt. With his performance from Worlds haunting him, Russ made sure to body his second attempt and route to a big deadlift. 683.4 pounds was loaded onto the bar, a number that Russ had hit before. So for Russ, it was easy money. Your gold medal position lifter, Russell Orhe. 10 kilo jump, 310. 683. Locked it in, all smiles. New national champion, Russell Orhe. That deadlift would cap off his best overall performance yet, walking away with a 1,765.9 pound total, a 541 dot score, and the title of a two time national champion. His star had been shining so bright and there was no doubt to his greatness and rightful place as one of the best powerlifters in the world. But he still longed for that world championship hardware. Eight months after nationals, Russ and crew pulled up to Sweden for the 2019 IPF World Championships. With the improvements Russ had been making heading into the meet, plus the momentum he was gaining, the anticipation for how he would perform was at an all-time high. Add to that the fact that the reigning champ would be back to defend his crown, and the men's 83kg class was set to be one of the most exciting clashes at Worlds in years. When the platform was ready for Russ to hit his first squat, he set the tone for what he was planning to be the Russell Orhe show. It's almost scary to think where he might go. Walks out fairly confidently. Oh, wow. And not a single expression on his face either. He opened up with his biggest squat opener ever at 639.3 and route to a PR of 673.5, 10 pounds heavier than his last squat PR. Russ, however, was not done. A 10 pound increase on his squat was not indicative of the work that he had put in in the past eight months leading up to that meet. So he made another 16 and a half pound jump to a massive 690 that he got up clean and in the process set his first ever world record in the squat. Whoa! Oh That's my amazing. goodness! He's done oh, it! Wow. 313 by an 83 kilo lifter, three white lights. Whoa! Squat history being made. Russ wanted to start off his second crack at Worlds with a bang, and he did exactly that. Moving on to the bench press, it was a similar story. He opened up with 402.3, then matched his all-time best of 418.8 on his second attempt, the smoothest he had hit it so far. So for Russ, a big bench PR was on the horizon. 429.9 was loaded on the bar for Russ's final bench attempt, and he nailed it with ease. Now, if it wasn't clear that Russ was on pace for his best performance all-time, it would be clear once deadlifts came up. See, at this point at 2018 Worlds, Russ was 51.1 pounds behind Brett Gibbs. In 2019, however, that discrepancy was 6.7 pounds, with Russ being in the lead. -ish. Russ opened up with a big 666.9 pound deadlift, his biggest opener of all time. Gibbs opened up with the same weight and nailed that as well. For his second attempt, Russ made a huge jump to 694.4, which was a 5.5 pound increase from his previous PR, and he absolutely nailed it. In a tight race, Gibbs hit the same number with ease, so it was literally going to come down to the final deadlift, and at this point, it was Russ's meat to lose. Russ still needed to hit his final attempt of 716.5 pounds, the first 700 pound attempt of his entire career, and an 83kg world deadlift record if he could get it. This one was for all the marbles, and the redemption that Russ had been looking for. Making history, Russell Lohan. He's done it! 10 times body weight total! <laughs> I just New it from it. 
world record and held it for the crowd <laughs> in dominant style. What a day he's had. Knowing he was behind, Gibbs was going to attempt a pretty big deadlift to make up the gap. He attempted a 711 pound deadlift, which he missed, effectively ending his chances at regaining the title. Here it is. He's pulling! Come on, bro. Up to no. A little too much today. And Russell Orhe has just won the world championships. And with that lift, Russell Orhe was officially the undisputed best 83 kg lifter in the world, and as a powerlifting community would later call him, the king of the 83s, and the new deadlift world record holder for that weight class. He totaled 1,836.4 pounds and an impressive 565.24 dot score. In October of 2019, Russ touched down in Lombard, Illinois for the 38th USAPL Nationals as confident as ever. Given the fact that he was him, the numbers were going to be bigger than ever. It was just a matter of how much bigger were they going to be. Well, Russ started off pretty big with a 666.9 pound squat opener, which was his biggest opener of all time. Almost 30 pounds heavier than his previous biggest opener. Unfortunately for Russ though, it didn't count. See what the refs say. But it wasn't a big deal given the fact that this weight was typically easy money for him, so he wasn't phased. So all he did to make up for that was attempt a PR on his next lift, 691.1 to be exact. Russ had gotten to a point in his powerlifting career where he was comfortable making strategically bigger jumps so that he could conserve energy for his last attempt. Now this second attempt also didn't count. See what they say. Oh. So all Russ did was come back for his third attempt and actually make it count officially nabbing another PR and breaking his national squat record once again. Russell is definitely fighting for that, and it's an unofficial world record on top of it. <laughs> to stay in the meet. You have to, you have to exceed the current world record because he missed his first two lifts, and you can't drop the weight below your previous attempt. So he's trying to exceed the current world record on his third attempt just to stay in the meet. And this is our final squat. Let's watch it. See what they say. He's got a smile on his face. See what they say. When it came to the bench, Russ decided to employ his usual strategy of conserving energy. His squat and deadlift were just that good. So good that he could minimize his performance in the bench and still dominate. He opened up at a solid 402.3, his opener from the previous two meets. After nailing that opener, he moved on to 418.8, which he nailed as well. He finished with a bench of 424.4, which was good for second best all time for his career. Oh, it looks like he's got it. Wow. I mean, it was, it came See up, the lights started are. three wide lights. Ready to go all out on deadlifts, Russ opened up with a massive 677.9 pounds. This was followed by 711 pounds, which he hit smoothly and route to his biggest deadlift attempt of all time. 722 was loaded on the bar for what would be the biggest deadlift of Russ's career. He's already got the gold medal around his neck. This is just because I can. Indeed. Watch this. He's gonna pull this. I think he's gonna pull. If he pulls this, what would you give him for a total? Oh, so close. It would have been 8.33 and a half. The lift ultimately did not count, but this didn't matter though, as Russ still finished with a 1,826.5 pound total, 90.4 pounds more than the runner-up Sean Noriega. And there's a reason why people will never achieve what you've achieved in your lifting career and you know in your life because they don't have the same mindset. When that was an absolutely massive squat in the yeah, 83s absolutely. in a world record, now it's opening weight for Russell Orhe. By the way, did you see his arrival? Did you see how he arrived here in the building? No, sir. Was it by he limo? He was all suited up <laughs> with black lacquer like shoes. <laughs> nice. Like a real king. He started out fairly conservative on squats, 
opening up at 655.8 pounds and made a big jump to 691.1. This was similar to his first two attempts at the previous Nationals. However, we wouldn't see Russ Pierre on squats, as he'd conservatively attempt a 706.5 pound squat that he'd nail and break his own world record. Streaming on there in 20.5 kilos in the 83 kilo class. He'd follow his usual bench pattern as he'd hit conservative numbers all across the board. A 396.8 opener followed by 407.8 for a second attempt and finishing bench off with a 413.3 pound bench. These weren't his best numbers by a mile but were consistent with his bench methodology. Combine that with Ross not having hit his competitive peak for the year and it was not a surprise that his bench would be on the lower end. But he couldn't cap off worlds on such a conservative note. He needed to finish off deadlifts with a bang and to try to at least match his nationals performance. After opening up with a 683.4 pound deadlift and following that up with 716.5 pounds, Russ went into his last attempt intending to hit an all-time PR. With 734.1 pounds loaded onto the bar, Russ would hit the platform and attempt what not only would be his new personal best, but a new world record as well. And there is your 83 kilo world champion. And just like that, Russell Orhe was now a two-time world champion to go along with his four national titles. He capped off his third world appearance with a 1,854.1 pound total and a 569.22 dot score. Hi, what you do in the gym? It doesn't really matter. Like, you gotta be a performer. Like, you gotta be able to come in here in front of like the bright lights and like front of all these people and like still do what you do in the gym. Absolutely. Like you don't get to control your environment anymore. Your dick, like your lips are dictated by them. Pulling up in the only way that Russ Swole could, he arrived in Vegas donning a mink coat while whooping the G-Wagon. When it was time to hit the platform at 2022 USAPL Mega Nationals, he opened up with a 655.8 pound squat, followed by a 684.5 pound second attempt, and he finished off with a 706.5 pound squat, matching what he hit at Worlds the year prior. This wasn't the massive jump that was expected given the amount of time that had gone by. In the bench, his numbers were identical to 2021 Worlds as well, with a 396.8 pound opener followed by 407.8 and 413.3. Deadlifts followed almost the same exact pattern as his numbers would be almost identical to the previous Worlds with the exception of his final attempt. He finished off with a 727.5 pound deadlift, his second heaviest of all time. While Russ didn't hit any all-time bests or break any of his national records, he still did enough to fend off the competition, competition that, similar to the year prior, was not too far off his heels. He totaled 1,847 pounds and had a dot score of 568.87. Oh, and a fifth national title to go along with it. The goal with this meet was to push like powerlifting and just kind of like be here as a presence as one of the leaders in the community of powerlifting to kind of like push the culture more here in South Korea. When the Korea Winter Showdown came around, the entire community would be watching with extreme anticipation. The expectations that everyone had for Russ going in weren't just met, but exceeded. He opened up at a massive 699.9 pounds, but missed the lift. Three. All right. All right. 
Undeterred, he made a big jump to 722, which marked a 10 pound increase from his previous PR. This jump wasn't surprising given the weight class increase. What was surprising was how well that 722 moved. And after that lift, Russ had officially become the new 90kg squat record holder and still had one more lift to go. And just like that, he'd break his own record once again. Now, what made his squat even scarier was the fact that it was 15.4 pounds more than his deadlift PR at 83 kg. Looking to conserve as much energy as possible, he kept it conservative on the bench by opening up at 402.3 and followed that up with a 418.8 pound bench. He'd match his all-time PR at 429.9 and nail it, setting himself up for a finish for the ages. As we make our way to the deadlift, he opens up with a 705.4 and nails it. He then makes a huge jump to 738.5, which came up pretty easy as well. But for his final attempt, 771.6 pounds were loaded onto the bar for the second biggest deadlift of the entire meet. Russ had just deadlifted almost 800 pounds, a feat that even he himself couldn't have imagined when he started this journey. It was mesmerizing and well worth foregoing a bodybuilding show. Russ had proven that he was more than willing to take his talent to another weight class and make a serious impact. Russ finished with a 1,951.1 pound total and a dot score of 572.69, almost four points higher than mega nationals. So the idea that Russ might be slowing down was put to bed with his performance in South Korea.